I'm Fabia and I'm a physics and astrophysics student at the University of Leeds. Today I'm going to be taking you on a tour around the Sir William Henry Bragg building. As a new development, this is home to the School of Physics and Astronomy. Come follow me. The Bragg building is named after Sir William Henry Bragg. He was a Cavendish professor in physics at the University of Leeds. In 1915, he was awarded a Nobel Prize in physics alongside his son, Sir William Lawrence Bragg. Together, they had made groundbreaking discoveries in X-ray crystallography, and this paved the way for the discovery of the structure of DNA. Here we have the 1915 cafe. This is one of my favorite places to get a hot chocolate in the mornings before my lectures. Now, if you'd like to follow me, let's head up to the first year labs. So we're coming up to the lab facilities where we have dedicated rooms to physics teaching and physics experiments. Follow me. So on our left here we have some tutorial rooms. In your first year you are assigned weekly problems and you get to talk to your personal tutor and ask any and all questions you have to a physics specialist. Here we have the theory teaching room where EMPHIS students in their third year can do three mini research projects. And on this side, we have the Astro teaching room, where like the MPhys, you can do three mini research projects in your third year. And this can include stuff like CCD imaging. Now, if you follow me to the labs, and here we have the first year labs, where you get to do many experiments, each of them with a dedicated member of staff to help guide you, or one of the PhD students who are a demonstrator. Here is one of them. Hi, I'm Ashley and I'm an undergraduate demonstrator for the first year labs. Um, this is an opportunity for the first year students to run through a series of experiments, around 12 to 13 experiments throughout the year, so that they can um, practice skills such as uncertainty analysis, taking accurate measurements, and also comparing measured to expected values. Um, there's a range of different experiments, for example, measuring viscosity using and using Stokes' law, um, playing with electrical circuits and under understanding about charge and potential and voltage, and also it will build on some skills that they will be familiar with in their A-level courses, for example Millikan's oil drop, which is an experiment over here. Um, today I'm playing with lasers with the students um, and so the students are looking at diffraction and interference um, and so they're sharing and they are shining lasers through a series of different slits and taking measurements so that they can calculate the slit width and also the separation between multiple slits. So again this is a great opportunity for the students to be taking measurements and doing some uncertainty analysis and they're also able to play with lasers and have some fun. And now let's head to the second year labs where we will meet Abby who can tell us a lot more. Hi, I'm Abigail and welcome to the second year teaching labs. In second year, you develop the skills from first year labs via more complex versions of the first year experiments, such as Bragg diffraction, but you also get to do some brand new experiments and even for astro students, you get to do observations using the telescopes on the roof. In lab modules, it's also where you develop your communication skills, such as writing reports. And for theory students who don't do second year labs, you get to develop these skills through the communicating physics module. This is all in preparation for research projects in your final year. For example, mine is viewing crystal structures using virtual reality. Um, but let's have a look at the research labs downstairs. Here are some of the research labs that we have at Leeds. These are some of the laser labs which are used to research quantum information science. And down here we have a prep lab which is used by soft matter physicists and they have nitrogen chambers in because some of the materials they work with are quite reactive with oxygen. We're now going to go into the solid state testing lab where Ashley is going to talk to us about what happens in there. So this is our solid state testing lab. It's one of the labs that we use um, for research and teaching when we're looking at materials and testing materials. So we've got this machine here, which is our Instron, which we use to test important material properties such as Young's modulus and tensile strength. We've also got an impact tester here, which makes a loud crack when you're testing materials for their impact resistance. And we also prepare materials in here as well. So we've got some uh, heat presses over here where we um, prepare composite materials. And we've also got a range of vacuum ovens over here to help us prepare samples and um, so a lot of research is done in here into different kinds of materials including bio-based materials as alternatives for fossil fuel based materials because we've got quite an interest in our research into developing sustainable alternatives um, in the materials industry. We're now going to go and have a look at some of the third year teaching labs. 
So if you study for an integrated master's degree here at Leeds, which is an MPhys, in your third year you do three mini research projects. And if you're doing experimental physics, you'll be in one of these labs. There's multiple across the building. In here we have nuclear magnetic resonance, we have a laser and lots of other equipment as well. If you're doing theoretical, you'll use the labs we saw earlier. And if you're doing an astrophysics project, you'll use the telescopes on the roof. I'm now going to hand over to Fabio, who's going to take us up to the roof. Hi, next up is the rooftop. If you're an astrophysics student like me, you get to use the state-of-the-art observatory situated on top of the Bragg building. Fitted with two 35cm telescopes with CCD imaging, you can create multi-wavelength images. For example, in second year, one of our required practicals was to look at certain objects in the sky and be able to do a lot of data analysis. This has been amazing for me because in my final year project, I use data given by the Gaia telescope to see if I can find information about red giant stars. Now, if you follow me inside, you can have a look to see what it looks like. As you can see, the telescope is situated within inside this dome. During the day, you can do things such as solar astronomy, or at night, you can view things such as planetary nebula. Now, let's head down to see one of the lecture theatres. So, the Bragg Building doesn't only host the School of Physics and Astronomy, it's home to the School of Computing as well, which is on level two. Here, you'll see dedicated study spaces for all students to use. Throughout the Bragg building, there are several places where you can sit and relax before your lectures or where you can study by yourself or with friends. So this is the Dame Kathleen Lonsdale Lecture Theatre. Originally a traditional lecture theatre space, it has been converted into a modern day lecture theatre. You can talk about really interesting concepts such as quantum entanglement and the implications on determinism and free will in lectures. All of them are recorded by a system called Lecture Capture, so you can review the content you've done and see if you have any other questions you want to ask. The School of Physics and Astronomy is extremely proud to celebrate the achievement of all of its students. Here we have a list of the prize winners over the years. Over here we have a display cabinet of various pieces of equipment that showcase the history of physics. For example, here is a commercial version of Bragg's spectrometer. And here is the physics quiet study zone. This is space where students across all years can come and work. Perfect for completing exam prep or doing your coursework, this is the place to be. If you'd like to follow me, let's head down to the research labs. This is where final year students or postgrad researchers can come and complete their work. This is one of the research labs used by the School of Physics, specifically the Condensed Matter Research Group. As a final year student, you get to participate in groundbreaking research. If you follow me, we're going to see a piece of equipment called the deposition system. This is used to create really thin films of, uh, made out of metallics. And as a final year student, you can actually use equipment like this, which is amazing. Each of the research groups here at Leeds have its own dedicated lab, and some of these labs are shared between different schools. For example, this area is used by both the School of Physics and the School of Chemical and Process Engineering. Here, equipment like this is used to study the different chemical compositions and properties of materials using x-rays. So, essentially you're using physics to study chemistry. Thank you for joining us on this tour of the School of Physics and Astronomy here at the University of Leeds. We hope to see you soon. Bye.